Hey guys, so today I am reviewing the OnePlus 7 Oxygen OS Open Beta 18 for our port for our Redmi Note 7 and 7S aka the Lavender as you can see about phone OnePlus 7 modification developer Junim so a massive thanks to him and the build number OP7 Open Beta 18 let me show you the Android version it has kernel uh, from uh, SDN 660 common trees and the security patch is of September 1st and open beta 18 doesn't really bring much of the, much of new stuffs but yeah it, it does bring some new and about the port uh, if you go into device change log, change log the port is minimal and literally there's no op oneplus or google bloat and he has removed every, literally everything and just kept in the util, utilities for example chrome and google uh, but i do not even use google i use chrome <sighs> and there's no sound tile app so i have manually installed the sound tile from indianets you can grab it here and grant it root permission for the little icon over there this icon and you have to grant the do not disturb permission as well and then if if the app doesn't respond in a while you just have to go to battery optimization and turn it turn the optimization off for it and it will be good to go and about the gaming so the gaming isn't really that good in in default settings by default call of duty comes up with medium setting medium graphics and medium uh, frame rate so i would suggest you for to set set the graphics to low and the frame rate to medium or low for better experience and it will be good to go about the camera there's no oneplus camera as it is not portable but some devs have already ported it so you can have it i'll put a link to one, one of the ports of oneplus camera in the description and about google camera there's your there's a camera called mgc's mgc 7.6 i am using this parrot version let me show you the about info if there's any uh -huh. so i'll put this camera link in the description as well it has everything working and it doesn't really bring much of the new things you have to for this new thing called game space and it has a nice little uh, game launcher thing in while you play a game so if you want that you just have to go in update the uh, game space i'm not gonna update it and yeah that's pretty much it there's nothing new actually but yeah one thing he has done is remove the ram management thing uh, it i don't know what it what it was called but yeah he has removed it because it was literally unnecessary in our ports so that's a good thing and in the battery section you can find optimized charging i don't know if it's work if it is working for us but you can turn it on just in case and nothing is new yeah the dolby dolby atmos works perfectly so that's a good thing and if there's your usual customization many more clock styles you have to turn on the ambient display for it first you have a bunch of as you can see bunch of clock styles for your ambient display then rgb snp card tone system icons icon pack etc horizon light you have your horizon light yeah that these are good things so that's nothing system wide nothing much of a new system wide but uh, at the end of the day it is one plus as usual oxygen os as usual and about the dialer it is from oneplus not from google they haven't updated the dialer in open beta 18 but they will with ob 19 i guess and yeah that's pretty much it nothing new but if you want the new launcher based on 5.1 you go have, go check out my video i have already made it made a video on that and i guess that's pretty much it and one pro tip by the way if you want to use if you want to have a better ram management with hmp kernel the stm660 kernel inbuilt in here is not so 
HMP kernels are that good for RAM management in Oxygen OS exclusive so exclusively so if you want better RAM management go, uh, go out and head and install ES kernel and uh, one note you have to know is that do not flash magis 20.4 as it may uh, lead to fast boot or uh, endless boot loop so stick to 20.3 it has inbuilt inbuilt and i guess nothing is new that's pretty much it and you guys want to know that if it is good for day-to-day uh, -day usage and i would say yes it is but one thing you have to note that do not expect 100% functionality of all stuffs as it is not a custom ROM it is uh, in the end a port from a higher end chipset device to a mid-range chipset device from SDMA is the 855 I guess to this 660 so for daily usage it is good for gaming it is average and yeah that's pretty much it go ahead and install and have some fun with oxygen or seven bit eight and yeah one thing there's there's your dark mode tile so you do not have to manually go in customization and select the tone you have your dark mode tile and it works perfectly as you can see so yeah and another thing guys if you if your uh, if any app fails to like doesn't give you notifications after a while for example telegram if telegram dies you just go, go have to app info go to battery optimization and select do, don't app to optimize then it will show you the notifications literally every time there, there, there is so yeah that's pretty much it my review is done go ahead and install have fun and i'll catch you guys in the next video and the installation process is right around the corner so check it out